Welcome to this short video on the seismic loading module in Tecla TEDS. In this video, you'll see how easy it is to calculate the seismic forces for your next project using TEDS. Open a new calculation in TEDS. In the loading folder, select the seismic force ASC 7 module. Make sure to read through the scope, general notes, assumptions and limitations, and references on the right hand side. It's important to understand the capabilities of the calculation before getting started. Double click on the calculation to launch. This will open the user interface where you'll input the necessary information to run the calculation. It's good practice to always work from top to bottom and left to right. Start by selecting the code version. TED stays up to date on the latest loading codes. Next input the seismic parameters. Hover over the information bubble to learn more about what the input is asking. Sometimes this will be a code clause, engineering tip, or other useful information. From the drop-down menus, select the risk category and the site class. The values associated with these selections will automatically be used to calculate the seismic force. You'll need to know the mapped spectral acceleration parameters to input into TEDS. These can be found on the USGS website or from the maps in ASC 7. When you see a drop-down menu with a white background, you can either select from the menu or type in your own value. Notice the seismic design category is calculated and updated automatically as you input these values. TED's calculations also use checkboxes to toggle between conditions and different calculations. Checking the box will perform or select the item in the description. For this case, you can choose to calculate the design category based on this alternative code clause. Refer to the code to determine if this is appropriate for your project. If so, check the box to apply the clause. The building data is used to input the building mass. You can choose to calculate the vertical distribution, that is the story shear forces at each level or not. If this is unchecked, in the Heights and Weights interface, you will simply input the total height of the building and the total effective seismic weight of the structure. If this is checked, you will now need to input the number of levels, the elevation of each level, and the effective seismic weight at each level. The program will then output the story forces. Next, define the lateral system properties. Select the lateral force resisting system from the drop down menu. Depending on your selection here, the values of the approximate period parameters are defined. This will be used to calculate the approximate fundamental period. All red buttons in TED's calculations must be clicked and reviewed in order to complete the design. This response modification factor button will launch a data table. These are common in several TEDS modules and they're an easy way to make a selection and have several variables defined within the calculation based on that selection. For this case, you need to define the lateral force resisting system for the program to accurately select the response modification coefficient R, the overstrength factor omega, and the deflection amplification factor CD. When working with data tables, make sure to go left to right and to make a selection in every column. This table follows the options exactly in the code. Simply pick the type of system in your building, and once you've selected all the options from the table, the Copy to Calcs command will become available. Click this button to return to the calculation. Under the Fundamental Period group, you can choose to input your own value to be used for the Fundamental Period. If this is left unchecked, the program will use the calculated approximate period using the equations from ASC 7. Also make sure to select the appropriate long period transition period based on your project location. If your project falls under site class F, this button will become available for additional required inputs. As with all TEDS modules, you have the ability to define the level of detail of output. In this module, you can output the results to a table. If this is unchecked, the results will be displayed in paragraph form. Finally, you can choose to also calculate and report the diaphragm force minimums. Click Finish to complete the calculation and output the results. You can now review the inputs, parameters, and base shear for this design. Notice we also have the story force distributions output to a table as requested in the interface. To make changes to this calculation, click on the Calculate button in the TEDS ribbon. 
This will reopen the interface with all the previous informations you input. Make any changes as needed, then click Finish to return to the document. That brings us to the end of this short video on the Seismic Loading Module in Tecla TEDS.